guys hear me all right? Uh, my name is Justin Real. I am the CEO and founder of Real Play LLC. This is Brian Porter, our director of baseball initiatives. Um, and we are here to introduce Real Play to you. Real Play is a uh, early stage technology company that is offering automated baseball and, video, uh, and softball videos for aspiring high school athletes. What we've developed is an AI driven camera system that when installed at home fields of an entire league, we can provide players uh, video that often takes a significantly, oops, sorry, a significantly longer amount of time and more resources to generate. What we hope to do uh, in providing statistics and videos for individual players is open up a national recruiting market that to date has gone restricted. Uh, so far we've had relatively uh, successful traction. Um, we had a beta test in 2016, which uh, proved to us that if we do provide video to players, especially at levels that people don't totally expect, we will find players that are interested in this video. 82% of the players that we filmed in the first year accessed their video and watched it multiple times. Uh, in the pilot summer of this year, um, we were able to go and partner with the American Legion Baseball Program Massachusetts and film a significant amount of their games, including the final uh, state tournament in which we were able to uh, capture and generate over 2,300 videos in two weeks and post them to the point where now we have 5,700 views in uh, four. Um, the market itself is primed and ready for uh, technology to take over and to date there has just not been enough emphasis on trying to make uh, democratized technology available to the widest amount of players that we have. Um, right now Time Magazine estimates the youth sports market at around 15.1 billion dollars uh, the softball and baseball markets representing the third and fourth most popular high school sports in the country. Um, what we want to do is open up a potential for not just the highest and most elite players to go out and get the type of attention that they need, but also to enable some of the lower tier players and lower tier colleges that are looking for players without the type of resources that those at the top have. The problem, a lot with the technology that's out there, is it's outdated and usually based on a customer model where the more I can get from an individual, the better. We decided that we want to get the more people as possible, so we've set our prices at a low point, hoping that we can generate uh, a cross-team adoption at a relatively high level, as opposed to just trying to pick out the couple of kids in every team that are willing to spend a crazy high amount of money on an advantage that we could provide. What we have, like I mentioned, is a hardware-software platform combination. Our online platform allows players the ability to look at their videos over the course of a season, communicate with their coach, and try to improve over the, uh, the regular baseball spring. Um, the platform is designed for the secondary phase of that, in which uh, recruiters, scouts, uh, will be able to go through and look at publicized videos by these individual players, allowing these uh, scouts and recruiters to do not just a wider job and see more players that are potentially out there, but also to do a more thorough evaluation based on the uh, collection of a large amount of video. And now to show you what that might look like. Uh, here we have um, one of our team pages. This is what a coach would be able to view uh, as his players collect video over the course of the season. Um, as you can see, we have statistics, we have uh, player information that's important uh, to both the coach and to any particular scouts that are looking. And then when clicking through to an individual profile page, uh, what you can see is as we've developed uh, this pilot platform, um, or sorry, as we executed the pilot project, we were able to work with these players from American Legion and generate, like I said, a pretty substantial amount of video um, where their at-bats, their batters faced, if their pitchers um, are all compiled and pretty easy to uh, go through and see. The last service that we provide um, along with the open recruiting space with the uh, profile pages is this um, highlight reel compilation where again using uh, an algorithm we can compile and put together a highlight reel of the players most successful and best uh, at-bats put it in a way that it will attract scouts or recruiters and do the job that a highlight reel is supposed to do, which is to spark someone's attention. Once they get that attention, they come to the profile page and they can do the type of full-blown evaluation that they really can, hopefully getting kids into college that uh, might not currently think that they have a shot. That's it. Opening up for questions.
Yes, Peter. So in your presentation, you said baseball is the third? Third and fourth. Uh, third and fourth. Um, why baseball compared to other sports? And, and is that down the road? Sure. Um, one of the important things about baseball is that it presents a particularly difficult filming problem. Um, unlike a team sport, you can't point one camera at a field and capture everybody doing everything at once. Um, what we do is we provide a fixed position camera that can read what's going on in a game similar to someone sitting there and documenting each step of it. Unlike a football team, however, we have to make sure that we're very precise about who's in it, what's happening, and when it happened during the game. Yes. So for now, we're not analyzing videos. Um, it's something that we want to leave up to the baseball people that are doing the baseball jobs. Um, this is not supposed to be some sort of silver bullet that will help you solve baseball. This is a tool that's supposed to let you do the baseball jobs that are being done at the highest level that need to be uh, made cheap and made accessible to players down at the high school level. So far, we've had a lot of success. Um, we've gone to two different organizations. One's a private facility that has a three-field uh, setup that we're going and attending different tournaments. Um, we provide the players at those tournaments profile pages for uh, a price, and they can go on and see their video from the tournament. From the school side, we're working with uh, a couple private schools and the private uh, independent school league in Massachusetts um, and working with them to be our first rollout league in 2018. They've agreed to uh, an uh, application of this for both baseball and softball, ideally uh, starting with varsity, but especially with these schools, they have JV teams, sometimes even third or fourth teams, and middle school teams that they can uh, provide to. Any more questions? Sure. So for a school, it costs $1,400 per field. That allows us to attend the games and film all of the games, uh, and film all the games, collect the games, edit, and post them for the players. For the players, uh, it is a six-month subscription service, and um, what we try to do is impress upon the team that it's about full adoption, not about just trying to get one kid. Um, so the coaches uh, don't get to see video of players that obviously don't buy a subscription. Um, the subscription starts for one to 10 players at $155 for six months. Uh, if you can get 10 to 20 players, it's 135, and then if you can get 20 to 30 players of your team to sign up, you're looking at $105 for six months of the profile pages. And if you choose so, you can pay $50 for the highlight service at the end of the season. Yes? So is it also like part production company where your team is only filming? Or you're sending them up for the So for right now, uh, we are doing a manually driven process. And we have a human sitting there doing the job of recognizing what's happening in front of them. This is an image recognition piece of the software that we know we can build, but takes a pretty hefty chunk in order to develop it substantially enough. Um, we want to get to a proof point where we can justify that type of raise and justify that type of spending on a product that will allow us to scale pretty substantially. Any other questions? Uh, this, I think, is taken from a lot of different angles, but um, Brian has uh, extensive experience working with similar products at uh, the MLB level and with the MLB's commissioner's office. Um, I think what we've tried to do with his help and with our customers' help is develop a pretty standard viewing system. This is one that you'd think that you could probably see for a major league team at a major league organization. Um, the problem is that most of these high-level organizations that have developed systems like this have done so with the very specific reason of not sharing it with anybody. And we're going to go and we're going to make this something to share with anyone. Yeah. yeah. Sure. All right. So this is just a typical at bat and uh, it's nothing that's particularly special. There's nothing that's meant to stand out or to do anything about this one video, except for if you need to, you can pause and look for mechanical mistakes, different areas of the swing to improve. Now the highlight reel, which you did ask for, and sorry for not playing right away, um, there's some sound, so I'm sorry if it's super loud. Well, 
What we try to do is put stats on there that would attract anybody that'd be interested, along with uh, player information at the end of it so that coaches can reach out and contact them or their parents. Tom had a very good tournament. Okay, thank you.